The cellular immune response begins when an antigen, such as a virus, enters a body cell. Note that cancerous cells can also elicit a cellular immune response. The cell becomes infected by the virus. The virus uses the cell's own machinery to replicate its genetic material and to produce new viral particles. During the infection, some of the viral proteins, which are antigens, are broken down by the cell and attached to class 1 MHC proteins. These complexes of antigens and class 1 MHC proteins are then presented on the cell surface. A cytotoxic T cell participates in the next stage of the cellular immune response. This cytotoxic T cell has T cell receptors that are specific for the displayed antigen. The T cell receptors bind to the complexes of antigens and class 1 MHC proteins. This binding activates the cytotoxic T cell. The activated cytotoxic T cell proliferates to form a clone of cells, each with T cell receptors specific for the same antigenic determinant. In the effector phase, these cytotoxic T cells can now encounter and eliminate other cells of the body that are infected with the virus. Infected body cells present the viral antigens on their class 1 MHC proteins. Cytotoxic T cells from the activation phase, each with receptors specific for the viral antigen, bind to these complexes. Upon binding, a cytotoxic T cell is stimulated to release molecules called perforin. Perforin kills the target cell by causing the cell to lyse.